Hi everyone, and welcome to this tutorial for a warm winter look. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and all that good stuff for the latest updates on what I'm doing, and all the products used in this video will be listed in the description box below. So let's begin. Starting with a clean face, tie your hair back to keep it away from your eyes. Beginning with the eyes, take your favourite eye primer and apply a thin layer all over your lid and blend it up to the brow bone using your finger. Make sure to apply underneath your eye as well. Using some tape, apply it to the back of your hand to remove the stickiness, then apply it from the end of your brow to the corner of your eye and tap to stick. Using an angled brush and a medium grey eyeshadow, apply this along the lash line and along the tape up until the crease. Using a small fluffy brush and the same grey eyeshadow, apply this to your crease and up into a cat eye shape. Using a clean fluffy brush, blend out the crease to avoid any harsh edges. Then repeat the steps on the other eye. Using a flat stiff brush and a light shimmery gold colour, tap off the excess and apply this to the centre of your lids. Remember to tap it and not drag it as this may cause premature sagging and creasing. Using a small dome brush and a dark brown eyeshadow, tap off the excess and apply this to the lash line as close as possible and up into the crease. Blend out the crease using a small dome fluffy brush to avoid any harsh edges. You can now carefully peel off the tape, leaving a clean edge on either side. Using the same small dome brush and dark eyeshadow, apply this to the lower lash line to about halfway and blend out with your finger. Using a small flat brush and an even lighter gold colour, apply this to the inner corners and along the lower lash line to brighten up your eyes. Using a fluffy brush and a colour close to your skin tone, apply this to your brow bone to blend out any harsh edges and to provide a slight highlight. You can apply this to the outer corner of your eye as well. Now let's move on to the rest of the face. Using your favourite primer, apply a thin layer all over and blend out with your fingers. Make sure to blend onto the neckline as well. Using a face blending sponge and your favourite mattifying foundation, apply this all over your face and blend well. Don't forget to blend out the foundation onto your neckline. Using a light concealer, apply this underneath the eyes, along the nose bridge, the forehead, the chin, along the cheekbones and the sides of your mouth to brighten up your face. Using a kabuki brush, apply your favourite mattifying powder all over your face in a thin layer and don't forget down the neckline. Moving on to the brows, taking a spoolie, brush them out to create the shape that you like and to avoid any stray hairs. Taking your favourite brow shadow or brow kit, apply this using an angled brush. Make sure to make the outer sides of your brows darker, this will create a much stronger frame for your face. Then apply your favourite brow gel to lock the hairs in place. Using a black pencil eyeliner, apply this to the lower waterline and upper waterline to tightline your eyes. Then taking a black liquid liner, apply this as close to the lash line as possible, creating a small wing. Using a contouring brush and your favourite bronzer, apply this to the hollows of your cheeks along the temples, underneath the jawline, along the neckline and along the sides of the nose to contour the face. Taking your favourite matte lipstick, apply this to your lips to give that pop of colour. And now we're done. So let your hair down, shake it off, and remember, you are beautiful. So smile, and Mowgli and I will see you next time. Bye!